the day has come for me to sort out our communal toolbox. So in our previous workshop, we had this toolbox here filled with all of our specialist tools and just general tools that people could share. If they want an extra spanner and they had one in their toolbox, they could come over to this one and grab that one. Or if they just needed a tool which they didn't want to break one of their own, they could use these. So we're going to go through all of this today, work out what I want to keep, what I want to throw in the bin, what I want to sell, and we're going to move all the good stuff into the SGS toolboxes. So we've got our new SGS toolboxes. We've got the black one there and the silver one behind us, and we're going to move everything across. So this is our new SGS toolbox, which is the beautiful black one with the lid that comes up on here. Like so it's even got sockets in the corner so you can charge. And then over here, we've got the silver one, which the silver one up here is just proper posh with the wooden top. I love it all, really nice drawers. Beautiful. And then I've got a load more tools down here, which needs sorting out which are sort of all in their packets and everything still. And then in the other toolbox, these are the drawers of the type of thing. Everything's just been left here since it moved across. So all sorts in here. There we go, beautiful. All so well organized. As with communal toolboxes, things go in, things go out. Never gets put back quite right. Got some pieces of specialist tools there for two strokes. A random spanner drawer, you cannot beat a random spanner drawer if you want to make a tool or, you know, treat one a bit rough. A random screwdriver drawer. Spanners and some other bits. And a load of four-stroke special equipment, two-stroke crankcase pullers in there. Remember what's in the bottom here? Oh, that's just, well, the bottom drawer is always a random drawer. And on the other side, we've got oh, impact sockets and some air tools. A uh, load of, well, I don't know, soldering stuff and bits and pieces in there. A uh, load of air equipment and tools and connectors. And a load of punches. Oh, spark plug spanners and all sorts of things. Hammer drill, wire brushes and everything. Random socket drill and bits and pieces. Oh, drill bit drawer. Another random bit drawer. Chisel files and chisels and all sorts of money. And then, oh, multimeters and test equipment as well. So as you can see, that is in quite a mess and you can see why I want to move it across and get it all sorted. So I'm going to wheel that toolbox over to there, go through it, see what I want to keep, see what I want to throw away and see what I want to sell. So let's do it. Okay, let's take the here. Let's do Boom, that should do it. I was going to make three piles. One on this bench is going to be the stuff I want to keep and put into these drawers. Back bench stuff that we're going to want to sell because we don't need it anymore. And then, well, the third pile is going to be in the bin. Oh, the first drawer, some G clamps. Or cramps, they cramps or clamps? Good pair of Stilsons. Graham's used to work for me, that was. Beautiful set. So you can put your big bits in there, look. So you've got your posi drive or Phillips, have it in the, in the end of that tool there, put it on your screw that won't come out, and you hit that end with a hammer and it'll shock it around. All right, draw that's a bit more exciting. It's the plier draw. Wire cutters, wire strippers, standard pliers. Circlet pliers, more wire strippers, adjustables, which are imperial and metric, plumber's pliers, some Nipex ones, or Knipex, as you keep, everyone keeps telling me they're supposed to be called. Some adjustable circlet pliers, which are horrible, I hate them. More hose clamps, good set of pliers. It's one of my favorite set of pliers, that is. And the old um, jubilee for a strap on a CV boot. Oh, we call it CV boot strap tool. Maybe. Hmm, right, get it out. So now we've got our specialist tools, or some of them, so this is all the two-stroke stuff. So if we want to pressure test the two-stroke engine, you've got all the blanking plates and everything here, and bits and pieces to be able to do that. And then these are just carb adjustment tools over here, and clutch removal tools. All right, now for the mass of spanners and bits and pieces that are in here, which half of this doesn't ever get used, but it's always handy. If you want to 
you know, weld the spanner onto something to get something undone, or cut a spanner off to be able to get into an awkward place. If only just to have that lot about. Prime example there that we bent that spanner to be able to get into an awkward position at some point. So I do this more and more in my toolboxes these days, where you've got silica gel sachets to put into your toolbox. So it soaks up the moisture rather than your tools going rusty. And now in our new workshop, we're going to have to do that even more because it is a bit damp in here. Got the Teng tools, torque wrenches, the mini one. But then something's been around for quite a while. It's sort of the cheaper torque wrenches, which stuff like this will be for sale. Screwdrivers, from big to short to small to fat to every different type you can think of. Oh, my favourite scraper. Obviously in the wrong drawer. It's a lovely little scraper, that. Nice and flexible. Now, I've had this Sigen spanner set for quite a long time. They've always been quite good spanners. Can't complain about them for the standard spanner. I think they've only lost a couple over the time where they've been replaced with someone else. Probably more than lost, typical 30 mil and 10 mil is probably the one which is different. Now, years ago, I bought a job lot of tools and this little box and that little box were in the set. I'm just going to show you what's in there. And I'll let you tell me in the comments what you think it was used for. There's a spoon and a syringe. Yep. I'll wash my hands in a minute. But you can tell me what that was for and what that syringe would look at the age of that syringe. It might even be worth something. Yeah, I think we can all guess what that was used for. Right, now this is the drawer I am dreading because it's all the specialist big tools in there from hydraulic testing equipment to pressure testing to crankcase pullers, the bearing pullers, to all sorts of stuff. Piston ring compressors. There's just a load of just, ah, uh, I don't know whether to keep some of it or get rid of it. I anyway, this bench is looking rather full of stuff now. So we need to go through it, work out what I'm going to keep. Next up is screwdrivers. Hmm. Uh, that looks better. Now for the random spanners to go in there. Another old random tool. Look at that Austin spanner. Half inch one end, seven sixteenths the other. You could probably take the whole car apart with that. Well, it's tidier than the last one anyway. Right, I am gaining. I've kicked on the silver toolbox. The old toolbox is now all empty and this one is nearly full. Let's check it out. Yeah, so this one empty in the top. All the drawers are empty all the way down for Sad times. Anyway, any want the toolbox? Just for sale. And then we've got pliers and everything in the top. Then we've got our uh, T-handles, screwdrivers, spanners. Then going down, you've got all your sockets, half inch for any little impacts, random bowl, and then random spanners and some stilsons, specialist tools in there, and then on the little drawers, we've got some random stuff. All the uh, two stroke tuning screwdrivers and your hose clamps, random Allen keys, which are always handy, hooks, picks, and scrapers. And then down here, we have got drill bits random stuff, files and bullets, hammers and chisels and punches and then, and then just, yeah, soldering irons and puncher repair kits and all sorts. And then in the bottom there we've got the Halfords Advanced three quarter inch socket set. Under here I have got a load of random boxes which have just been stored. I'm now going to just put them in there. I don't exactly know how I'm going to do it yet so I thought we'd just have the boxes, put them in the drawer so they're out of the way, so at least we know where things are to and they're accessible. And then we're going to review how that's going to be displayed soon. Maybe on the Machinery Nation channel, there might be something coming. So in here, I've just put those, all those boxes and any sort of specialist tools we've got in there nicely, all tidy. And then we'll review that situation another time. Although that is pretty good, nice and easy to get to. And this is all the stuff that I'm going to just sell off in one big job lot. Otherwise, it'll go into an auction or something. So it's all coming together. The workshop is looking pretty swish. We're getting everything sorted gradually. Now that toolbox is over, this one can go. And then we'll be on to the next project. Right, see you soon. Cheers. Bye.